Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be a chatty get ready with me. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so this video is going to be on an article that I read that actually talked about steps that you can take in order to get over the hurt of an affair. And I'm also going to touch on how I dealt with, you know, the issue of being cheated on, how I got over the pain of it, and if I actually did the steps that professionals are recommending. And at the end of the video, please chime in down below um, if you feel comfortable. Let us know if you think that the steps that I that I'm going to talk about is hogwash tell me if you think that it can be therapeutic if it's necessary and if you don't go through these steps does that mean you're still hurting so anyway um let's go ahead and get into the look all right so let's go ahead and get this party started um I'm going to use the Pat McGrath palettes her newest ones the rose palettes <laughs> that came out and I, as you can see I already got my brows done so I'm going to just lightly tap over this with a foundation powder that is my shade and that is going to cover up a little bit of my brow bone mm, I just want my brow bone to be my skin tone so we're just gonna do that I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. So anyway, I, I was reading an article online and the article reads as follows, getting over the hurt of an affair. So I was like, okay, I could talk about that. That's something that I think we probably all could relate to. I definitely can. For those of you all who have been following me for a minute and are familiar with past chatty get ready with me as you'll know that I've been married before when I first got out of college I married someone and I only stayed we were I think we were legally married for like a year or was it two years we stayed living together six months but it wasn't long okay and it was something that I never should have done. But anyway, that person ended up cheating on me and it didn't feel good at all. And it really feels bad when you, when someone cheats on you and you find receipts of gifts they've bought the other person or other things that they've done. You know, that, that stuff is like, it, it doesn't feel good. I'm gonna use this palette and I'm gonna go in with this top shade right here. So anyway, it doesn't feel good at all. And it's really annoying when the person tries to lie about it and make it seem like you're the one that's crazy. I hate that by the way. And it's kind of like um, they, they want, it's like they're asking you, who are you gonna believe? Me or your lying eyes? <laughs> that's what the tripped out part about it is when someone wants to lie to you about something that you've actually seen with your own eyes. So the article that I was reading talks about all these steps that you need to go through before you can actually heal and even move on to another relationship. And it starts off by saying that it takes at least 18 months to two years to actually get over you know someone cheating on you and call me wrong but i think that's a very that's a long time you know i don't know let me know what you think i'm gonna go in with this shade next so it lists all of these steps that you need to go through before you can actually heal and i get it it's a lot of things that you do need to do and back when i was a youngster <laughs> you know you would hear things like the best way to get over someone is to you know jump in another relationship and that is not always the best thing to do especially if you're not over the other person and when I read all of the steps I'm thinking hmm some of these things I didn't do <laughs> so I'm gonna be a little silly. Does that mean I never got over my ex-husband? I don't think so. By the way, that relationship was, that marriage took place in, let's see, 1994? 
1994. So it was a while ago. It was like soon after I graduated college. All right, so I'm gonna get into the first step that I don't remember doing <laughs> way back then, but before I do, let me show you all which color I'm gonna use next. The next shade that I'm gonna go in with is this one. The first step that it says that you're supposed to take is to just kind of take time and breathe and really be aware with your surroundings. And it just talked about grounding yourself, okay? Taking time to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth and be aware of your senses. You know, what are you seeing? What are you smelling? You know, things like that. So I was like, okay, I get it. And it just says that that's a way of grounding yourself, um, just kind of getting off of that roller coaster of everything that, that's, that is going on. I'm gonna go in with this shade next. So the next step that it says to do, which I definitely did do, and I think most people probably do, and it says to address your thoughts. And they're basically talking about talk to a friend, talk to a family member, talk to a counselor, or something like that. So yeah, I, I definitely talked to my mom about it and you know, best friends that I had at the time. And I feel as though anytime you do have any type of problems, you know, it's best to talk about it as opposed to just holding it in. And cause for me, when I don't, if I have a problem with someone or, or anything like that, I've got to talk to them about it. That it's best if I talk to them about it or if I talk to someone else about it. But I think that that is so important. So that's one step that I definitely did not skip. This metallic shade on the outer V. Okay, and I'm just gonna add this, just like this to the outer V and on this side as well. So the next step that it says to take is grief. And as many of you all know, um, there are five steps that you actually take or that the professionals recommend that you take when you're actually grieving and or there's five steps that you actually go through and those five steps are anger denial no denial anger bargaining depression and acceptance i think i got that right so anyway did i go through those steps yep sure did especially the anger one <laughs> I don't think I went much through the denial. Um, I really went through the anger part because I was pissed. Edges off with a wipe. I just need to get me some shadow guards. And I'm gonna do my lower lash line after I have my complexion done, but I'm just gonna use some basic Amazon lashes. Y'all know how I roll. Actually, I did buy three pair of Lily lashes and I'll show them in a haul. I'll do a haul video one day. And they're actually nice. They're very, very, very nice. Um, they don't feel like the Amazon lashes. I don't know how they're gonna hold up. I hope they do, but they're, they're very soft and they're very like dainty. You know, I can't manhandle them. I know that I'm not gonna be able to manhandle them like I do my Amazon lashes. So those lashes, I'm gonna save for when I go out with the hubby because they are very natural and flirty type of lashes. Okay, they look really pretty. I just hope they last. So anyway, the next step that they recommend that you go through is focusing on your physical health and did i do that back then no i did <laughs> i don't because it says you're supposed to eat right exercise you know meditate do all that stuff mm -mm. i was to be honest i was just a wreck 
I was, my little feelings was hurt. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this La Mer foundation. And I have it in the shade Sepia. So it says, yeah, go and just work on yourself. Exercise. Go to the gym. Do all of that good stuff and take care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself you know you know you're not gonna be able to get over you know the situation and you're just gonna carry around all of this pain and hurt and even though i didn't do it i definitely should have done it because i've learned over the years that exercising helps reduce your stress level if you're um, stressed out about something you know try to get some exercise go for a walk or if you can't go for a walk maybe go in your garage or something and do some jumping jacks you know i'm just i'm, I'm just trying to be creative or just think think of things that you can do because not everybody can get to a park or not everybody has access to a gym so I'm just saying, try if you can, if you are stressed, you know, about something, try to get you some exercise in. It will help. So trust me, it will help. And I wish I had have known about that. What, you know, like what I know now. All right. I'm thinking that my lashes are probably dry. All right. So I'm hoping these lashes are on right. It is getting more and more difficult for me to see without my glasses and it's kind of scary. So I'm going to go in with my Smashbox concealer that is really good. And I'm doing the, <laughs> the ever so popular bright highlighting for this look. Cause I'm going to take some pictures for the gram. So anyway, the next step that they recommend that you do is to take time for yourself. You know, take a trip, you could take up a class, start a new hobby. Just take time doing something that you like, you and only you like. And that's something that is important to do. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> uh, taking up a new hobby, well, for one, I had to work, you know. I was fresh out of college for the most part of it. And you know, it's time to work. You can't really, well, I couldn't, you know. You know, once I got my degree, it's time to, you know, you gotta go to work, girl. You're a big girl now. All right, so, so far, I kind of think it's looking right. I do need to set this concealer. Cause we are almost in the home stretch. Cause we're going to be talking about the last step that they recommend that you do, which is understand the affair. I mean, that is good in theory, but some people are just dogs, you know, there's no, you know, sometimes it, there, there may be a reason, like if you weren't having enough intimacy or something simple, like maybe monetary issues or something like that. But in my case, homeboy was just, just, just not good for me. That's the best way I'm gonna put it to be. So I just try to be, I just won't try to be too ugly, but you know, he just wasn't no good. Not to toot my own horn to say, I didn't do anything wrong. Nobody's perfect. I'm not saying that. We had, you know, common issues like anybody else. You know, sometimes you get into an argument with whomever you're with, or um, it, it could just be, you know, anything small or common. You know, it was, it was nothing colossal, like, you know, him catching me with another man's phone number or anytime we go to the mall, you know, I'm trying to check out another man or something like that. So as far as, you know, understanding why it was just simple, you know, I'm going to do my lower lash line. I'm going to use this pink on the inner part of the eye and this darker burgundy on the outer part. But as far as trying to understand, it was just, 
It was somebody that he wanted to mess with and so he did. And that kind of stuff is never a good feeling. All right, so now I'm gonna use the Glowgasm Highlighter Palette. This was a gift to me by Pauline Newman as well as the foundation. And it is so beautiful. I know all of you all know what it looks like. Look at that. I'm gonna use this bronzer right here. But yeah, as far as trying to understand, you know, why they did it, I, you know, I don't even, you know, they did it and they just, I just chalk it up as they did it and they a dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's why they did it because they're a dog i mean i don't even know if i would if i was presented well i don't know i was gonna say i don't know if i was presented with that situation now would i try to ask my husband well why did you cheat i guess i would i would want to know you know i would want to know but ultimately at the end of the day ultimately when people do that they just i mean it's I think it's like <laughs> I don't want to say they don't have no any self they don't have self control but you know if you've committed to someone okay there's always going to be um, a, a pretty woman out there or or a handsome guy there's there's always going to be that so it's like why you know once you get married you need to determine if you're going to have some type of self control. Or if you can have some self-control you know especially if that's your weakness because some men women that is their weakness so I don't think people should get married if if that's gonna be an issue but at the end of the day people do make mistakes you know, we all make mistakes, even me. I make mistakes all the time. Y'all see it every time I upload a video. <laughs> but I would just simply, as far as just trying to understand why somebody cheated on me, I would just be thinking that they are a dog. And that's why they did it. Because they're a dog and they can't control, they, they don't have any self-control. They didn't have any self-control. So for a blush, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this shade right here and i have like always wanted this palette okay am i putting too much of this on i don't know kind of looks like it do i want to put some on my nose yeah i'm going in for the gold this shade right here so yeah those are the steps that you know they recommend that you take you know in in order for you to really be able to get over someone or infidelity and remember that it's gonna take 18 months to two years that's a long time is it just me or does that seem like a long time now let's go in with this Tom Ford lipstick do y'all see that oh that's pretty I'm just gonna line my lips all right now that I got them lined I'm gonna put on this pretty lipstick All right, and the last step is to set it with this Miracle Mist by Tarte. And this has the most awesome mister. Mmm, that's nice. So I think this is the final look. Let me know down in the comments if you were cheated on. Did you go through all of the steps that they recommend that you go through? Let me know or let us know down in the comments. And if you did, um, which one do you think is most important? If you didn't, um, let us know why you think it's not even necessary. So with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.